Assalamu alaikum, dear brothers and sisters in Islam. Loving the Prophet, following his example, and using his sunnah as model was the main motivation of Muslim scholars who devoted themselves to studying all aspects of his life and existence. This is how the discipline called Sira or biography of the Prophet, peace be upon him, emerged. Among the most famous African figures in the Arabic literature history, we can count the Egyptian Muhammad Busayri and the Senegalese Sheikh Said al Haji Maliksi, poets, biographers, and panegyrists of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. They shared the uniqueness of having excelled in the use of the Arabic language with ease and rare eloquence. Suffering from a long illness that did not seem to improve, Busayri composed a poem of the Prophet, peace be upon him. This poem was a way to implore the divine magnanimity, a way to receive his mercy through the Prophet The poem was so deep that the Prophet appeared to the altar in his sleep and wrapped him with his own burda, coat in Arabic. At his awakening, Busayri was healed from his paralysis. The poem, now called the burda, has been regarded as sacred. In Senegal, we owe the dissemination of his poem to the venerable El Haji Maliksi of Tivawan, scholar and great writer. He echoed Busayri and composed many poems in honor of the Prophet ﷺ. Among his best known works, we must list the famous Khilasu Zahab or pure gold on the Prophet's life, considered among the most prominent praise made to the Messenger of Allah. Mauda Malik is considered in Senegalese Islamic circles as a living encyclopedia. His intellectual production extends beyond the prophetic praise and covers areas and knowledge such as prosody, morphology, syntax, Islamic jurisprudence, to mention only a few. This work has been distinguished by its intransigence to be always based on the principles laid down by the Almighty Creator. To propagate his work of salvation, he used what the Prophet said to the faithful Muslims, God has created me to pay tribute to him. He created me as model of salvation to magnify the human being. This argument has been a key element of Mawda Malik's teaching as he said, if after God, the Prophet is the only reason for everything. We have no choice but to magnify this human being that God has already chosen. Thus, the idea of commemorating the birth of the Prophet, peace be upon him, was born. Indeed, when we rejoice, a person chosen and elevated by Allah, we also elevate ourselves. At first, Al Haji Maliksi initiated the celebration of Maulid with a public reading of the Quran during the whole night with his faithful Muqaddam. Outstanding disciple and inseparable friend, Al Haji Rawangom Pal. They never ceased to celebrate, determined to make this noble practice riches all horizons, the magnitude that the Maulid celebration reached today is a sign of its blessed nature. Later, Mawda Malik integrated this Maulid model with the Burda. For 10 nights, the 10 chapters of the Burda are read, are read every night at the beginning of the months of Rabi'u al-Awwal to galvanize the crowds, the crowds and prepare them for the Maulid on the 12th night. This Maulid style, model of wisdom and humility, has been followed through, throughout the continents through the dedication of the numerous Talibay who are 
away but have kept their faith in Tariqa. I take this opportunity to, congr to congratulate and thank the media group Asfiyahi. They have also contributed to this effort by spreading worldwide the Sharia, the Sunnah and the Tariqa through the teachings of our spiritual guide, Sayyid al Haj Malik, Sheikh Sayyid al Haj Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu, and his children, true men of God because of their intrinsic qualities. I pray that Allah's blessing be upon all of you and your family. May he make this maulid a successful one. Thank you, Papa Khalifa, for all.